Hey everybody, hey it's uh, it's Agent Carpo again, this is kind of part two of the uh, video I just made I guess, and uh, I guess I like doing my videos in parts, but I was talking about the way people perceive things and, you know, how we think things are so horrible and, and uh, really taking things for what they are and, uh, you know, I try to take the good with the bad, you know, I have good moments and, you know, actually, right after I made that uh, video, I was walking to the store and uh, the part, the first part of this, and I got there and uh, it was funny. They had this camera on closeout. It was like a hundred and something bucks, but it was on closeout total savings. I think it was like thirty-five bucks. And it was called a blogger, and it was really funny because it's like a really simple camera that you just plug in and uh, just plug it right in with the USB to the computer and uh, upload your videos. And I was thinking, you know, I found that one. It was the the, it was just what I needed, and it was the model closeout, and I just found it at the right time. And um, I actually went there to get some tapes for my other camera because I have a Hi8 recorder that I like to use, so I have stuff on actual tape and not just digital. But anyway, blah blah blah. Um, so for about the same price as four tapes, I ended up getting that, and um, you know, it's just like I said, ah, well, it's, you know, one of those things, uh, the goodness comes, but we don't tend to recognize it. It's like people, when good things happen to people, they don't, they don't embrace the goodness of it, and they don't even, they don't seem to notice when the good things happen, but they're always there to notice the negative. And I've seen this a lot with, like, a good example is, like, um, government, or, uh, political issues, you know. Nobody's ever there to praise the politicians when they pass a good law that helps, but they're always there to complain when there's one that prevents them from doing what they want. And, you know, it's all perspective. It's all perspective. And, uh, among, you know, besides all the bullshit, the truth is, I, you know, we all deal with bullshit, and we all have different perspectives that are a little bit, you know, skewed sometimes, but, um, I, I have, um, I, I've really embraced the things that I do have, and I'm and I'm grateful for the things that I have. I've got a home, I've got a family, um, I have a job, I've got money. I live in America, and I, I'm able to like do the free the things freely that I want. Practice my own, you know, beliefs and my own ideas. Some countries, by posting a videos like this, I would be hanged, you know, just for speaking my own opinion, and. Uh, I guess maybe that's part of the reason why I do speak out so strongly against, um, you know, a good example, I don't want to seem like a dick when I talk out against religion, because I, you know, people tend to think that I'm bashing people who believe in God, that's not what it's all about for me. I think what it is, is I feel like, since we can now speak out against the church, you know, there were so many times in history where people were not allowed to speak, where they were prohibited from speaking and where they were hanged and, and burned and killed and quartered for even speaking. It was considered heresy if you talked against the church. And so I kind of feel like if all my ancestors spent centuries and centuries being persecuted for what they said, maybe I'm obligated a little bit in my time, just obligated a little bit to speak out against things and, that I see that are unjust, you know, and, and that's why I say the things I do against things, but, you know, I'm not an opposing person. I'm just an accepting person. I don't let things get to me. You know, I don't let uh, people's uh, other people's issues get to me. I just try to take things for what it is and be grateful for what I have. Be grateful for my family. I'm grateful for my friends. Just being grateful for being alive. You know. And um, I'm very grateful that I can share this with all of you, and that I'm even more grateful that anybody. Uh, would give a shit, you know, and have something that they can share with me, because all of the views that I've heard um, in my life, you know, are different, and, and, and each one helps me to build a an image of the reality of what humans are really like, you know, not what we're told they're like. You know, a lot of people sit in their basements on their computers, and they think that the world's a certain way because they see so much on the internet and, and, and you know you get out in your community and you see things are different and then some people get out in their community and they think that the whole world's that way they don't realize that the communities are different so just being different from one another we can start to really 
I don't know, accept things for what they are and embrace our differences to an extent, but we have to speak our minds. So I've been, uh, I've been through a lot in my life. I've had a lot of, uh, you know, uh, adversity that, you know, when my father died when I was 15 from cancer and it kind of messed me up a little bit and I've had friends steal from me, I've had people lie to me, I've had, you know, all these things happen, but I still have faith in humanity because I believe people are good. I really do. I believe that people have a nature in them that wants to be good. And I think that the folks that aren't good are only not good out of ignorance. Not out of hatred. I'm sweeping while I'm making a video. <laughs> um, not out of hatred. Not out of, you know, an actual hatred for people. They don't mean what they do. And perhaps that's ignorant. And yeah, perhaps that's, uh, you know, stupidity talking. I know a lot of people believe that humans by nature are selfish and that humans by nature are hateful and spiteful and that a person will do anything they can to get one over on you the minute you turn your back on them. And uh, to tell you the truth, I can't believe that. I just can't believe that. I, and I won't believe that because if I do, I've already resign myself to a life of paranoia. Think about that for a minute. The paranoia that we develop by believing certain things and not even having any real evidence for them, you know? It's... I don't know. It's human nature, I guess. But, um... You can see the world the way you want to see it, I guess. Each person does. <laughs> I see it as a safe place. A place of safe harbor. A place where people can, I don't know, live their lives to an extent, you know, free of persecution as long as their society allows it. And the only thing that doesn't usually allow people to live freely is other people who want to tell people how they should live or what they should think. So. We live in a free-thinking society, and uh, it's a great thing. <laughs> Peace and love, everybody.